Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to review how A2X accounting for Amazon works. So let's get started. I am actually really excited about this um, app because it looks like it's going to help me to reconcile Amazon faster. Um, and more accurate uh, than how I was doing it. I was doing it manually where I would put the, pull the CSV reports and try to match half of the month to the other half of the month to the payment settlements and do the journal entry. So it was really, really time consuming. So the client, my client has grown to the point where I can't do that anymore. Um, so I started looking for other ways to get that information into QuickBooks. And I found a couple, but um, I saw that A2X was really popular and actually their customer support is great. I don't have affiliate with them. I'm just, you know, I do QuickBooks um, in a bookkeeper. So I, I always say only connect apps when it's absolutely necessary. And because I like to keep things simple always keep your QuickBooks file clean and simple. So it was time. It was time for me to look for an app that would help me with Amazon. For the, for the 2019 accounting, I did it all manually. I started looking into um, A2X in December. So I finally got it connected. Um, so I'm going to show you what, um, how it it works in QuickBooks. Um, I'm not going to show the setup of A2X, even though, I mean, their support is great. It is so easy. All you have to do is connect your Amazon. Like you can see here, my Amazon's connected. Uh, my QuickBooks is connected. And then you just match your chart of accounts to accounts to A2X. That's pretty much it. So let me show you how A2X um, works. And over here is the dashboard. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, we can see the settlements. These are the settlements for the period. So what you do essentially, once you have everything connected, you can review. And what I like about this, let me show you um, this one. This one, well, actually, I should have shown you. Let me go to the one that says December 21 to January 4. So in this case, and this was a lot of my, where it took a lot of time when Amazon splits the settlement, um, the payments. But in here, the great thing about this, when you review it, is that it breaks it for you. So you can see here, this is my December um, settlement or invoice, and this is the breakdown. And these are the accounts and this tells you once you set up your accounts it tells you um, how it's going to and you can even review it here even before it is um, transferred over um, but this pulls from the default and then you have the next months in this case it's january and this is all of january so that's what I really like about it. I don't have to do that anymore. And here's your cost of goods. It also splits it between um, the two months for that settlement. So here's December, here is January, my cost of goods. So that is awesome. So once I review it and everything looks good, I just send it to QuickBooks. So once it's in QuickBooks, then we can see um, how it works. Now, this client of mine has Amazon sales, um, has Shopify and has, um, other distributors. So I'm going to, and I broke it down like this. Um, as you can see, these are the accounts that I use. Um, and all these are connected to, to the A2X. And then we have Shopify. I will make another video on how I reconcile Shopify. But for now, we're looking at A2X. I'm going to do last month because I already, I already, um, sent over the settlements, um, from A2X to QuickBooks. So I'm going to do last month. 
So here it is. I haven't done Shopify yet. So when I do Shopify, I will record it and then you guys are going to be able to see how I reconcile it. So we have a few um, sales to distribute distributors in in January. Anyway, um, here is Amazon and I can see already I have my Amazon sales, my promo, my refunds, my selling, shipping and wrapping. Those are like main categories for me. I don't really feel like I need to track more than that. Um, if you do, then obviously you can create your own um, set of accounts, but I want to keep it simple. Um, okay. So then when we go into, I'm going to bring up, I'm going to sales and I'm going to bring up um, 118. And this is the journal entry. This is what I used to do manually. And it took me a long time, but now A2X is doing that for me. See, and it bring it puts A2X and it breaks it down according to the date and it splits it just like how I showed you it was split. It splits it, but everything is already done. And that's what I love about it because it is so simple. And then once, you know, you have your bank feeds, it'll just match your um, deposit that whatever was deposited into your um, bank account from Amazon. You just match it up and that's pretty much it. So this is definitely saving me like eight hours or more. It used to take me days to reconcile. So now it's just a matter of just sending it over to QuickBooks from A to X. Um, and then you can see breaking it down. You can see, uh, I have my promo rebates, my refunds and, um, Amazon selling um, fees. So it has all of those and it'll break it down per the date. See, this is 118. The pricing is actually great for all the amount of time that I'm saving to do this. It's awesome. But this is how it works. This is how it will look like. And of course, you can, you know, double check with your settlement. Um, you, you There's so many ways you can reconcile it. But it's already doing it for you. I say if you can match your bank fee to the Amazon deposit, then it has been done correctly. And then once a month, what I'm going to do is in the case of once I've synced everything in January, I'm just going to just verify like, okay, my shipping, um, just to make sure that I have it in the correct category. Um, like I said, this is um, my first time that I've done this. Um, I'm, it's my first month, January, that I'm syncing this. So I'm hoping that um, it looks like everything is working good. So here's my Amazon refunds. If I see an account or a transaction that I may need to create an account for, then I'm going to do that. But it looks like everything is, is where I want it to be. Um, I'm just going to double check this, but I wanted to really show you guys, um, how great this A2X app would be. And this is one of the things that, you know, I, I do recommend using if you have Amazon sales. Uh, just keep in mind though, A2X is not a sales tax management, um, app. You have like tax jar for that. This is just the accounting part of um, QuickBooks or the accounting part of Amazon. So yeah, so this is great. I hope that you guys like this video and please subscribe for more how to's, tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. And don't forget, I will be doing a Shopify reconciliation. Once I start doing my um, Shopify reconciliation, I'm going to go ahead and record that for you guys. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments and questions below. I will talk to you later.